Hello everyone, today is an unusual video, you've probably seen it on the picture and even though this channel is a knitting I love, I'm going to show you something that I crocheted. Shade, like a shade, crocheted, crocheted. 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 So excited. Before I even start and tell you and show you what I used, I'm going to give you a hint maybe and quite a question and maybe a little bit of pushing to request that I really want to do a tutorial about this. Literally from the beginning to the end what I've done, but I will probably will have to t uh, learn a terminology of crochet. Will this stick to my brain? Crochet. Crochet terminology. Learn again. So yeah, the so first things first I want to tell you, I'm very tempted to create a tutorial, obviously maybe in the, on a smaller box, but, uh, or basket, I'm not sure how you say it when you crochet it. Um, so I'll let me know down below, give me that extra motivation and kick if you want to see it. And I'm only nervous from perspective that I'm, when they, um, that I might messed up crochet terminology. Ugh. But over here probably, Follow what I do, not what I say. So here it is. It is so much fun to do something for the first time and especially when I have a, quite a bit of a clue. Well, I do have a clue, but not fully clue. And crochet is so cool in regards, you're so free. You're so free. Basically, if I had to say about crochet is that you have more freedom, what you're doing. Uh, you can change direction if you do more often than in knitting, I would say. So yeah, you can just have fun. <laughs> although, although, if you're a beginner, just, Bear in mind, if you're a knitter like me, with uh, quite a bit of experience, you may notice some muscle soreness. I had in my wrist and I had in my back of my, between shoulder blades. But if you manage your time using crochet hook for like shorter sections and more breaks, you can definitely enjoy it a little bit longer, seriously. Okay, let me tell you first what tools I use so that'll be quickly for me to kind of skip and then I'll tell you all about construction and how I did stuff. Although I know showing in a physical form and a tutorial is way better, so I'm tempted, but I'm not sure I have time to do it. But I presume if I make a small, kind of little smaller basket than this, you know, you know, it may go. And especially that I think I'm going to, especially that I think now I'm going to use it for my makeup drawer. So in case I would want to do a quick uh, get ready with me over here, I just lift it up, bring it over here, and then put it back in the drawer and push it. What you need, you need yarn. I used 100% um, wool. It is uh, from Polish sheep, 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 plural. And um, yeah, I got it a while back in Poland during our holidays over there. I know, I think I bought it maybe five years ago, then maybe I got something three years ago, and I haven't bought anything this year because I know I'm, I have plenty. So uh, I used two, let's call it a skeins, um, but I have a little bit of leftovers of this. I haven't waited because as you can see, I have still a base. And uh, basically when you go to Poland and you go to Zakopane and you go to Zakopane market, there's only one area that you could see these and look down, don't look up in case you come and visit Poland. Um, so what you can find, they have one ply or two plies, which two plies will be, I think, in knitting, I would get maybe 18 stitches per gauge, so it's worsted iron weight and it's very rustic. Although I knitted a few things, few items with this, and I know I always tell you about two sweaters, but on the screen you can see more stuff if it comes to my mind. Lately, I designed a um, bed for a pet because I wanted to use this yarn. It's 100%, so at the end of the day, I can put it in the compost, so um, I think it's a brilliant material to make something for pets and so on and so on, especially that the wool has such a good features. And you know, the little fiber that goes into the air, with this definitely your pets, you know, they're sniffers, right? 
So whatever they sniff, at least it will not harm them, I would say, from that perspective. Otherwise, you know, you're sniffing plastic fiber. Anyway, what I did with my one, I mixed also it with leftovers from a sock. So anyway, it's something brilliant to have, and especially when you can get it in the good price. And these are hand spun, well, on the wheel. Here it is, close up. So yeah, I have more of these and I have more in different colors. And I was, wonder was wondering what to you, what to make with those. So, oh, I'll definitely be doing more. So I will have some stuff on my hook. So I told you about the yarn. So let's move on what kind of hook I use. Obviously, I do not know my tension. So I picked something that I thought will give me nice, dense fabric. By dense, I mean that the tension will be very close, those stitches. But I do... Did I make it right? Check this. Uh, check the screen now. So I'll show you. This is the hook I used, and oh, it rubbed off. So I'm not sure really what it is. Not a big help. Am I? Am I? Am I? Anyway, I'll on the screen now. So hopefully I'll write down and find it out because I bought what you call it a set, and each of these hooks they have a different color. So I used yes, that's black. I used brown. I'm missing one from this. I'm not sure where the other one is. I don't have hooks and I wanted to buy something and I thought as a beginner a while back that I can use it for a standard crochet, like, you know, a single thing, or I could use them for Tunisian. And the set comes with the cord, so if you were a knitter, you probably know what circular knit knitting needles are. And basically with this Knit Pro set, um, all those kind of match together. Don't know where I bought it and I don't know who sells it. Yeah. Or I could link Knit Pro website. That's it. That, that's that, that's a good thing too. So for this project, I did not have to attach anything. I could use this. So maybe start with the construction. As you can see, I have a bottom over here. So what I did, I cast it on 21 stitches. And by casting on, I mean I did a chain. So basically you start with the loop. So basically what you, you do, you start with this loop, like a lake. You put this one between and then you pull it, holding two. And then as you can see, there is a loop creating and very loose knot, and then you adjust it before you tighten it to the loop you want. So basically what I do, I always put something like needle, or in this case hook, and just pull two together. So, the, oh, so this is how I started. And basically from this moment, I was just go, grabbing the yarn. Oh grabbing the yarn and pulling it through the loop, so the stitch, and I was repeating that, trying to make the same size of those stitches. So basically I have done 21 of these. Yeah, just a temptation for the tutorial, hopefully I'll do it. Uh, and basically from that moment I used Tunisian, I think standard stitch, I'm not sure do I say it right, but basically you pick up stitches from the chain and then you um, kind of crochet through it coming back and then basically it creates this nice really this structure hopefully you can see it so it kind of it looks like a waved thing isn't it but the when when i did that all and it took a while to be honest then i worked in the round starting from one corner and then i think i did over here single crochet or some would say double crochet, and I always don't know which one is it. I'm trying to find if there anyone has a trick how to memorize which one is which one. Basically, it's the same motion, but the definition for um, uh, but definition in American terminology is different than in English terminology. So that's some kind of thing that I'm struggling with. And then when I decided that um, oh, and then what I did, I was decreasing a little bit. In the corners and obviously I'm not you know not an expert in it so I can I tried to mark the corners of the basket and then kind of see <laughs> where that edge is because it is not sharp it is not kind of visible anything like that and because I noticed that my basket was kind of flipping outside so maybe my gauge was slightly different I took some stitches took decreased some stitches and then I did decrease a little bit on the side over here I think in one point just to get those um, walls sides a little bit closer in the center and I thought I would like the the thing and I thought that I would like the effect so um, 
I was just going with the flow, whatever I felt like it. It wasn't really um, rapid like a baby. It wasn't really something that I was thinking too much about. I knew it created kind of like this, hopefully you can see it, shape. And then once I was happy with the thing, I could basically just pull the yarn through and cut it because this is, you don't have to bind off anything in the crochet like you would in knitting because you don't have those stitches on that hook then. What I decided, I decided to play with that crochet skill that I have just developed and I designed these little bubbles. Not sure can you see it, but I kind of doubled or create an extra edge so it looks like if you have a castle and those walls where the soldiers are walking it kind of looks like and that reminds me like this so and if you're asking me that i actually count how many stitches i have on each wall and divided those little bubbles around equally i just went with it basically i did a bubble and i did three i think you can see i did yeah and i really like it and i want more of these so i think i'm going to use this one um I was planning to, so I was planning to make this for empty jars in the kitchen because we have few of these in the kitchen and because they rumble, you know, just to put maybe a second layer into the basket and it'll be quieter when I'm opening it or maybe sorted better. But now it turned out so pretty, I did not even believe with this. Um, I'm going to keep it in the living room and under our coffee table, there's another kind of shelf, so I have loads of bits from knitting here and there so it will probably look more organized and easier to clean just grab the box swipe the dust put it back and i took bigger bag because you need something bigger and this is reminds me of a summer and it's it's like you know this summer wasn't really the summer that you could go anywhere so um yeah so it's double special um i bought it from canadian maker so i'll put links down below if you're interested to check her out and yeah okay i think that's it i hope you enjoyed this one let me know how's your crochet 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 how's your crochet adventures are going and are you having any projects on your hook on your crochet hook let me know I'm a totally beginner, let's say it that way, so I need to learn a few bits here and there. And probably, probably, at the moment, I will be making baskets. Therefore, subscribe, like, if you like to follow my knitting and crocheting inspiration. Till the next one. Bye.